Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add trees quickly to any landscape and we're going to do this with the sapling tree add-on and this is a built-in add-on so we're going to enable this so let's click on edit preferences add-ons and then we got sapling tree gen or you could type it in here and make sure that's checked so what we're going to do is we're going to delete the default cube and we're just going to add in a plane scale it up by like four actually I'm going to do eight and that should be good and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in let's find it here it should be curve and then sapling tree gen and there we go we already got the tree but we need to change some settings here so if you notice we got um, some presets and we could just go to that and click whichever one we need and let's say we can also adjust these settings but I'm gonna just go with the presets so we got like willow and I think that's a pretty nice one um, let's see we could scale it down a little bit or you could always scale it down in object mode later on um, and I think that's good for now um, you got a random seed to randomize it if you want to add in a few and let's just go to the leaves and we could show the leaves um, and you see they're too small I think so let's add in like um, let's see let's see like 50 leaves um, let's keep going up okay this starts to slow down let's do 500 and see how that is and we got to scale up the leaves a lot let's go with something like something like that looks pretty good I'm gonna go with let's just go with 0.5 for that um, and you can definitely tweak this as you need to change some of these settings and I think this is good so I'm gonna and I'm gonna click on that move that off to the side we're gonna add in another tree and let's do that again so shift A and we're gonna go to uh, curve and then sapling tree gen and we're gonna do the same thing we did before but let's go back to geometry and let's say we need we want some very variance so let's try birch and then let's go to the leaves let's bring up the size to 0.5 again and we have to show the leaves too and let's go with like a hundred maybe a maybe that's that's pretty good I think actually um, could change some of these settings maybe bring this leaf down up to make some more randomness that should look good um, yeah so that's what we're gonna go with now and again bring this off to the side so now what we're gonna do is we are going to add these two um, or we're gonna add these in with the particle system so let let's actually before we do that let's give it a material and I'm not going to be using any advanced materials but you always can you can always UV unwrap this um, and add in some advanced materials but before we do that we have to convert this to an actual mesh so we're going to click on this and we're going to set convert to mesh and same thing with the leaves object click on the leaves then object convert to mesh same thing with the other tree convert to mesh and then same thing with the bark or the trunk um, convert to mesh so now it's a mesh you can see if you go into edit mode it is a mesh now and that's important to be able to add textures to it so we're just gonna make this brown and we could go to EV preview mode which is this icon here just to see how it looks when we create it so let's just make that oh I'm actually on the leaves um, I want to work on the trunk first so let's click on the trunk then add the material in and let's go with something like a darkish brown should look good for now and then we got the let's see the leaves which we can create now and let's make those green let's make it a little bit darker something like that is good and that we can call let's name the materials leaves and then the bark 
we can call it the bark and then we'll do the same thing with the other tree um, we'll add in the bark to the bark and then click on the leaves and then we'll set that to be the leaves material and there we go we got the trees but now we need to distribute it on the plane so we gotta scale this down a lot so just click on the bark and it'll scale down the leaves with it since they're parented to the um, same geometry and that should be good that size let's just control a apply all transforms now we're gonna click on the plane and we are going to add in two material systems two particle systems let's add one let's give like a hundred and let's set the object to be let's find it here um, let's see uh, let's see where this is oh render is object instancing object so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this eyedropper icon then click on the tree um, and then you're gonna do that and let's see if this starts appearing and you see it does but um, they're moving for one so you have to change the frame start and the end to be one I believe and then it should all appear on frame one but we don't want any gravity or any physics or anything like that so we need to turn that all off and we also need to bring down the normal velocity to zero and let's bring that up, number up to like 500 and looks like we got we got the trees added in um, let's see let's make sure that these are actually flat and it looks like they are um, that looks good now we want to bring some randomness into this so we can just do that very simply by changing the scale and keep in mind sometimes I've been noticing a problem where everything slides off and I believe that's from some kind of problem I think it's if I have I have to apply that hmm oh so, so this so what what's going on is you could see that your tree um, the origin is actually located off center if I rotate it RZ that origins off center so we gotta fix that and that's very easy so you see this orange dot you're gonna want to go into edit mode and then just grab this tree and then bring it to to a place like R by pressing GX until everything's on center and that should be good oh and you don't want to forget the leaves um, I did forget to do that with the leaves too, so you have to select both and do the same thing. Let's go to 7 to get a top view and just move it until it looks good. So sometimes you'll have to do that if things don't always work out. Um, and then what, what we could do now is we can again change the scale randomness. So now we get some more randomness and we can also change the rotation, randomize, whoops, that is too much. <laughs> um, and then you have to click on your timeline to show the changes again. And let's just do like 0 0.02 or 0 0.03, we just want it to be slight. That looks pretty good. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be um, joining these up. Let's see, I noticed the leaves aren't showing up. Um, I will be right back and I'm gonna get the... Okay, so it turns out I accident, I was using this tree here and I never even joined it. So if I go back and just add the instance object to this tree, you see there's no leaves. So all I had to do was just click on the leaves and then the bark and control J and then it works without any problems. So that that looks actually pretty good for the first tree. Now we want to add in the second tree and we could do this very easily by just adding another particle system or in fact uh, duplicating this first particle system and then we could just change that. Let's make a, f a little bit less of them. Um, oh and we have to make sure we select this number, click that so it doesn't affect the first one. So again we can reduce this and we can just adjust um, lifetime lifetime you want to bring that all the way up as high as you can because we want it to last forever um, same thing on here just bring it to a really high number and back to the second one which is the second tree we can change the randomizing of the rotation um, and maybe bring up the scale of this tree to be a little bit larger and this tree we want it to be connected to this one so we have to go to here where we have the instance object we have to exit out and then click this tree and then now it should be adding this one in in addition to the previous one um, which it does and yeah that you can uh, you can pretty much get the trees to grow by like scaling this here um, which is really nice. Of course you can keyframe these values so for instance what would be really interesting to do is you could go like to frame 0 or 1 you could press I with a small um, size that I means that it makes uh, it sets the uh, sending it puts a keyframe in then you could go to like frame let's say 50 let's say 50 and then you could set this up to 1 and then press I and then what you could do is actually play this back look at that and then you could set the frames to be 50 and you can always render something out yeah so that is looks like growing pretty much a growing forest um, so yeah I'm gonna have this file available on my patreon um the link is in the description uh it's only i believe the uh the starring price i believe is two dollars a month so uh yeah i'll have this on the patreon um thank you guys for watching i'll be making lots of new videos soon um if you have any questions or suggestions comment and yeah thank you guys so much for watching